The back rooms. Ahead lies a path that no other human has yet discovered. Level 113, Verum Terra Machinis. Class, Lambda. Unsecured, hostility from sapient entities. Image caption, Figure 1, Region Aleph from Region Bet. Description, Level 113, Colloquially, Verum Terra Machinis, and formerly, Diem de Machinis, is an urbanized environment divided into three defined sectors, singularly designated as Region Aleph, Region Bet, and Region Gimel. Region Aleph is classified as the regions previously known as the entirety of level 113, being a large automated facility similar in structure to that of an oil-fueled power station. Region Aleph is noticeably dilapidated as displayed through the presence of imperfections and crevices strewn along the walls, as well as stains strewn upon the walls. The walls of the Aleph are largely composed of concrete and reinforced with rebar and steel framework, only interrupted when a window is present. Tiled flooring spans the entirety of Region Aleph, composed of an unidentified ceramic material the properties of which partially match those of bricks. The lights of Region Aleph are largely incandescent light bulbs that appear to be faulty and shine with variable quality, sometimes shutting off without warning. Region Bet is an urban environment to the likes of a large U.S. city, composed purely of metallic materials such as aluminum, iron, cobalt, and copper. Region Bet has the highest quantity of entities within its limits, and these entities can usually be seen in Region Bet's avenues and on the ground floor of most buildings in Bet. The buildings are designated as anomalous phenomena, sometimes described as an overlooked entity species in level 113. They are designated as such because they have demonstrated primitive intelligence through quote-unquote playing dead when a possible harmful stimulus is nearby. The buildings are mostly empty, except for two, the fortress and the power station, see Region Aleph. The fortress in Region Bet appears similar to a heavily fortified bunker in the center of Bet. It is encased in around 25 plates of pure tungsten, giving the bunker great resistance against many weaponry of many types. The king of level 113 is known to reside in this location, along with most royal grade machinarum. Image Caption Figure 2 Entity 35's Common Behaviors in Level 113 Region Gimel is a mechanical framework surrounding the entirety of Region Bet and Region Aleph, similar to that of a foundational framework to the entirety of level 113. Little information is known about Gimel due to the inaccessibility of the region. However, closer inspection of Gimel can be recognized with the use of powerful spotlights and laser range finding. Region Gimel is structured as a form of cage with support beams spread unevenly across its frame. Additionally, Gimel is home to 11 instances of Entity 35, Light Guides, the only species of liminal entity to exist in both level 113 and other levels, on the highest regions of the cage. But these entities do not appear to act similarly to Entity 35 on other levels. Instances of Entity 35 have been seen to mimic different shapes and symbols. The following symbols are the most common to manifest. See Figure 2. Level 113's main distinguishing feature is the vast intelligence gap between its entities, the Machinarum, and the entities of other levels, with every unique entity type in Level 113 having an estimated IQ above 125. The Machinarum are highly intelligent automatons that are protected with either aluminum or plastic plates, and appear in different shapes, sizes, and display different behaviors based upon their role in the Machinarum hierarchy. Security Grade Machinarum Security Grade Machinarum SGM, are a branch of Machinarum built for defensive procedures 
or level 113's confidentiality can be ensured to be kept secretive. The SGM typically ensure that their presence are hidden from the knowledge of opponents, note see Entity 1, the humans, through means of encryption or camouflage. CDT, Digital Espionage Unit, Confidentiality Defense Type Digital Espionage Unit. The CDT Digital Espionage Unit is a common espionage automaton that can only be found inside level 113. Digital espionage units typically appear as small motorized vehicles with three wheels with a radar dish mounted atop it. The purpose of the digital espionage units are to alter or infiltrate documents and telecommunications from within level 113. However, these automatons can execute their mission through any attempts necessary. CDT Photographic Espionage Unit Confidentiality Defense Type Photographic Espionage Unit The CDT Photographic Espionage Unit, or occasionally CDT Physical Espionage Unit, is a common espionage automaton that can only be found inside level 113. Photographic espionage units typically appear as small motorized vehicles with one wheel and a series of cameras attached to a spherical pattern mounted atop it. The purpose of the photographic espionage units are constructed are to spy on opponents and to clarify safe passage for ground machinarum forces. Military Grade Machinarum Military Grade Machinarum MGM, are a branch of Machinarum built for defensive or offensive procedures. The MGM always wield at least one weapon. This weapon can have an even chance of being a melee or ranged weapon. CTMU Ground Unit Classic Type Multiple Use Ground Unit the CTMU ground unit is the most common ground type military unit that can be found in level 113's arsenal. CTMU ground units are humanoid automatons with its head obstructed by a mask which appears similar to that of a bird skull without its lower mandible. Ground units can be equipped with all manners of weaponry due to their flexibility in terms of weapon use. Over 1,200 CTMU ground units are available for military use. CTO Firestorm Unit Classic Type Offensive Firestorm Unit The CTO Firestorm Unit is the most common flying type military automaton in the Verum Terra's arsenal. They typically appear as humanoid automatons without a lower body, and can be suspended in the air using jet propulsion. Specifically, using a hydrogen-powered jetpack bolted into its skeleton. On both arms are two incendiary devices, capable of expelling flames up to six meters away. Due to its use of hydrogen-powered jetpacks, Firestorm units are extremely prone to spontaneously combusting while in fight. Thus, Firestorm units are sent as a last resort by those of level 113. CT Explosive Device Classic Type Explosive Device The CT Explosive Device is a common explosive device found in level 113's arsenal. Typically deployed by other Machinarum, they are small disc-like automatons that can move on their own accord using four ball wheels on its underside. CTE devices typically have one large push button on its exposed side, painted in black, red, or blue. Once this push button has been activated, a fuse is lit on its interior, and it will trigger an explosion with the power of 200 kilograms of trinitrotoluenium TNT. CTO Helical Unit Classic Type Offensive Helical Unit The CTO Helical Unit is a rare flying type military unit that can be found in level 113's arsenal. CTO helical units appear as humanoid automatons without a lower body, similar to Firestorm units. CTO helical units have whip-like tentacles that make up their lower body. These appendages can operate as either legs or arms whenever necessary to operate differently. Only 16 CTO helical units have been manufactured as of March 2020, and thus, like Firestorm units, these units are deployed as a last resort to turn the tide of battle. 
NTO Acceleration Operator, Neotype Offensive Acceleration Operator. The NTO Acceleration Operator is an extremely rare artifact in the Verum Terra Machinus' military arsenal. Acceleration Operators are by far the largest devices manufactured by Level 113 as of March 2022, appearing as a mounted sniper-like construct at a length of 10 meters in total length. Acceleration Operators are to be piloted by at least three Machinarum, one to adjust rotation, two to adjust height, one to permit acceleration and fire. Due to the sheer size of the Acceleration Operators, only one unit was ever built. Royal Grade Machinarum Royal Grade Machinarum, RGM, are a branch of Machinarum built to serve the King of Level 113. The RGM include the King himself. However, on other databases, the King is not placed in any branch of Machinarum and classified as a part of Level 113 itself. Yamato Rishalu his Excellency Yamato Rishalu. His Excellency Yamato Rishalu is deemed the quote, King of Level 113 and the Machinarum. End quote. Yamato Rishalu has a slender humanoid figure, consistently wearing a crimson robe with a sharp conical hood. The only body feature of Yamato Rishalu that can be seen is his head, which appears as a tetrahedron with the hole gouged through the center where its only eye is located. Yamato Richelieu is mostly never seen. However, when a war is occurring between the Machinarum and another force, Richelieu can be seen near the back of the attacking forces, observing from an instance of a royal carrier. His Excellency, Yamato Richelieu, has been king of level 113 since 1986, when the previous monarch was killed during the First Machina Humanity War, from heavy damage to the head and left leg. RT Servant Unit, Royal Type Servant Unit. The Royal Type Servant Unit is the only other variant of Automaton in the branch of Royal Grade Machinarum, aside from Yamato Richelieu. The RT Servant Units appear as cubic-shaped, wheeled, trolley-like automatons. Aside from these details, little else is known about this type of Machinarum due to their limited visibility. Discovery and History Image Caption Figure 3 High Definition Screenshot of Level 113 Taken by Kara H. Thanatos Verum Terra Machinus was first recorded in 1986, following the First Machina Humanity War by wanderers who emerged from the remains of Redacted. One survivor, Kara H. Thanatos, chose to use her damaged camera to monitor where the Machinarum were traveling to. In doing this, he located an exit door on Redacted. Thanatos wandered around in level 113 for 25 minutes and 16 seconds, until being spotted by a CTD helical unit and being shot in the lower leg, hip, and the head, killing her. The camera kept filming for another 13 seconds until it was shot by the same helical unit. In the following year, each bullet was extracted from Kara's body along with the camera's SD card by an unnamed individual in absolute secrecy. Wars involving the Machinarum First Machina Humanity War, 1986 Belligerents Side A, the Machinarum Side B, Humanity Entity 33, the King Entity 96, The Neighborhood Watch. The First Machinarum Humanity War began on the 26th of December, 1986, supposedly after six wanderers from Level 80, Hogshin Highway, entered Level 113 with weapons on their person. Mistakenly recognizing the journey as an attack, the monarch of Level 113 at the time, Bishmark Rituel, declared war upon Entity 1, humans. The following day, level 0, tutorial level, level 7, the Lassophobia, level 9, the suburbs, level 11, the endless city, and level 94, motion, were the main fronts for the war. During the first war, the majority of the battlefronts were repaired. 
However, level zero, tutorial level, suffered heavy damage. Humanity emerged victorious after the first Machina Humanity War, with level 113 being blocked off from the rest of the backrooms. Second Machina Humanity War, 2014. Belligerence, Side A, Machinarum, Entity 67, The Party Goers, Smiley Face. Side B, Humanity, Entity 96, The Neighborhood Watch, the Second Machina Humanity War began on the 29th of September, 2014, caused by deepening tensions between the Machinarum and Humanity after a defense agreement between the Machinarum and Entity 67, partygoers, and the further militarization of Humanity, especially after the main militarization of the Major Explorer Group and Backrooms Remodeling Co. A decision of war was signed by Overseer A and B, Claiming that the continuation of the Machinarum was Terramount. Oh. Claiming. <laughs> Declaring that the continuation of the Machinarum was tantamount to allowing, quote, an intelligence singularity forming in our backyard, end quote. A raid was carried out by Team Carl on Region Aleph and Level Fun, note, see Level 26. By the 2nd of October, 2014. In October, Yamato Richielu declared for all military assets in level 113 to be deployed against the attacking forces. This sent the front lines to the borders of level 11, the Endless City, level 4, Abandoned Office, and level 302, False Sublime, levels deemed essential for the Backrooms' ecosystem. A ceasefire was agreed upon by the 30th of October, 2014, and Entity 1 forces were pressured into a abandoning eight levels, including Level 6, Lights Out, and Level 10, the Bumper Crop. Bases, Outposts, and Communities. Since the Second Machina Humanity War, no human-built colonies are allowed into Level 113. If one is constructed, the Machinarum will enable a shoot-to-kill policy against any human beings present. Entrances and Exits Entrances Redacted, as per ceasefire agreement. Exits Exits from level 113 are only currently known to exist in level 11 and redacted. Level 11, the Endless City To enter level 11, you must locate an exit door inside Region Aleph leading to another random exit door in level 11. Once exiting, the door will automatically lock, disallowing two-way entry.